With eight wins and 13 nominations during the festival rounds, In Fabric is the wild new UK comedy horror causing a stir since its teaser was released. You see, not all films were created equal, and although In Fabric looks wild, I can promise you, you have no idea what's in store. The film follows a cursed dresser's journey as it leaves the department store and hexes all of those who it meets. But unlike rubber or any other inanimate object horror, In Fabric is less about the killer outfit and more about the weird world it lives in. This is director Peter Strickland's second feature horror film. The first being Barbarian Sound Studio, which is beautiful, yet it's slow in its descent. While In Fabric goes straight in for the kill. It's also worth mentioning that Strickland directed the Cobbler's Lot segment in The Field Guide to Evil. Strickland said in an interview with Ion Cinema that his main influence for the film was the haunting that came from wearing clothes. The secretion left on the fabric, whether that be arousal, blood, sweat, tears, the concept then developed from that and he sums it up to exploring these ideas within the horror genre. But the backstory to the dresser's power separates it from this idea of being a simple film. The movie bringing forth a strange cult with polarizing rituals to the forefront. The story in which the dress is first seen has a power over people. This hypnotic power is seen through TV ads and the insane behavior of these women screaming through the halls. But although it seems like we are seeing some insane reality, it reveals to us our materialistic habits. Are we the consumer or is it consuming us? Do we wear the dress or does the dress really wear us. The power of presentation is a sign of stature, importance, and influence across our culture. And this is where the comedy of the film comes in, touching on these aspects. We start off following Sheila, who guides us through this strange world, surviving through her manager's comical requests and her interaction with the bizarre saleswoman. Sheila serves as our invariable in the experiment dreamlike world of In Fabric. We feel for her and we watch in disbelief as she tries to navigate through this absurd world. Sheila really is the bones of this story and Marianne Jean Baptiste is the shining star performance. And the interactions between her and other characters become comedic because although they are highly exaggerated, there is some truth to it. And it's definitely that old case of it's funny because it's true. True. The mise-en-scene for In Fabric will give you flashbacks to Suspiria, topped off by the performance of the overbearing saleswoman Miss Luckmore, played by Fatma Mohammed. This is where Strickland shows his love for Giallo films, and he did this as well in Barbarian Sound Studio. So if you love Giallo and you want to see like a modern take, this is definitely a director that you want to stick by. And Miss Luckmore plays like a Madame Blanc but a lot more mysterious and a lot more kooky with lines such as, did the transaction validate your paradigm of consumerism? And the hesitation in your voice soon to be an echo in the recess of the spheres of retail. So good. <laughs> this film also follows a similar Suspiria-esque hypnotic glamour feel, but it's also stylized in a completely unique way. It utilizes a lot of montages and even uses bits of magazines and newspapers to kind of come together to give it this kind of classic 60s, 70s fabric pattern book feel, it's unique. All of this sounds amazing, right? A film with comedic depth exploring a new subject matter in a beautiful cult-like setting. What's not to love, right? Well, the structure of this film is where people are gonna decide whether it's just a confusing journey or whether it's an amazing movie. The film seems to twist and turn and amongst all the dramatics, we aren't sure where the peak resides. It's one constant WTF moment after another. And if that sounds like it's up your alley, definitely check out In Fabric when it plays near you. Keep your eyes out at local festivals because it is playing at a lot of them or you can wait until December 6th when A24 has it down for its release. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 for personal, a nine out of 10 for originality, and a two out of 10 for scare. I like this film. I thought it was interesting. The structure did lose me a little bit, but it was definitely a WTF moment. And I was like, yeah, this is gonna be easy. It's gonna be kooky. I'm gonna follow. Mm -mm, girl, <laughs> you have a storm coming. You've got a big storm coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed and you thought about it, do it. I'm looking at you right now and I'll talk to you very soon. Stay spooky. Bye.